born. Psychology Magazine published the results of an experiment on the perception of the bearded male personality. Final analysis was facial hair belongs to the courageous, those ready, willing, and able to do manly things. Eight bearded men were paid $10 each to participate. Friday, Damon earned $15,000 for charity by shaving his beard off, uh, Gillette doing the donating and maybe finding a new pitch man in the process. Damon and his shaved mug at home. Boston hosting Toronto. Witness the facial evolution of Damon, who said of the beard mixed with summer weather, I don't want to get cramps on the field and die of heat. Well, the evolution, the pre-shave Jim Morrison and the post-shave still going with the long hair. Orlando Hudson, one for 20 in his last five games. Damon, the sliding catch. Uh, still got the two going. Yeah, you're the dude. Bottom two, bottom uh, uh, Boston up 3-2. Runner on third, two out. Roy Halliday facing Mark Bellhorn, who was just one for eight career against him. The one a home run, so he'll take the RBI double. Halliday, six innings, five earned. Top seven, five, four. Simon says solo job. Simon Paw, North Vancouver, British Columbia. Hockey that off Bronson Arroyo. This game is tied. His first career home run. A bottom eight, Manny Ramirez said afterwards he wanted to hit one for his family. Yeah, but what about Michael Nakamura's family? Hey, one man's pleasure is another man's pain, and the Red Sox win it. 11-5. Dodgers and Braves from Atlanta. L.A. had dropped seven straight. Let's see what's going on with Alex Cora and company. 22-10 and 10 to start the season, but no win since May 13th. They've been offensively challenged. Their runs per game average has been cut in half, but they're still in first place in the NL West. How bad is that division? Top second. One out. Cora with the bases loaded facing Russ Ortiz. Into the double play. Four, six, three. So Ortiz out of trouble. Top six. No out, Cesar is tourists. That's a walk. Two batters later, Milton Bradley. That's a walk. Next batter, Adrian Beltre. Walk. Bases are loaded. Ortiz walks five in the game. Next batter, Sean Green. And no matter how much help they get, the Dodgers still can't do anything. Six, four, three. Ends the Dodgers sixth. And Ortiz out of trouble again. Top seven, no score. Juan and Carnacion up the middle. Nick Green, give me some gloves. Bottom seven, still no score. Odalis Perez facing Chipper Jones. Advantage Chipper. Number five on the year for him makes it 1-0. LA's eight-game skid, its longest since 92. Arizona at Florida. Darren Oliver is going to get the start. He's 2-2, two two, but, but things are going to go better because, well, let's flash back to Thursday. It was Bring Your Dog Night at Pro Player, and Father Joe Spina was there. you got to trust me on this. And he greeted Jack McKeon on the field. McKeon said afterwards, hey, while you're at it, Father, why don't you bless our bats? Well, it seemed to work Thursday because they won 6-2, but what about Friday? Marlins are down around. Mike Redman bless that. It's a two-run double, so the bats are blessed, and the Marlins are up 4-3, but but did Father Joe, did he did he work miracles on the Marlins gloves too? Because you gotta have the glove to go with the stick. Top four, Danny Batista batting, the Marlins up a run, and oh, the laser to Alex Gunn. Oh, my my glove is blessed. Driving stop, and Batista out. Top six, hey, let's find out if Lenny Harris's uh, glove has been blessed. That would be one old glove for Lenny Harris. Luis Gonzalez finds out. Yeah, Lenny, full extension. Father Joe definitely blessed him. Next batter is Richie Sexton. He's back in the lineup. Uh, that's strike three, Richie. Game hasn't changed since you were gone. Three strikes, you're out. You don't go to first. A game would eventually be tied. We go to extra innings. Yeah, you're out. Out. O-U-T. Father Joe didn't bless you. Mike Redmond. Bases loaded. Bottom ten. And he didn't fly. bless Brian Bruni. He walks him in. And the Marlins are blessed. It's in San Juan, San Fran 0 and 7 against Montreal last season. 1 and 7 this season without Barry Bonds in the lineup. He's in and he's he's watching. Former teammate Levon Hernandez gets Bonds looking in his first at bat. Bonds came in one for four career against Hernandez, the one a home run, but he was totally fooled there. Expos up three, top seven. Bonds draws the leadoff walk. He said he played this game because he owed it to the fans, so good on him. Hernandez chased later in the frame with a 3-1 advantage, but men on Luis Ayala. Hoping to keep that lead, hoping but not doing. Edgardo Alfonso batting 362 in his last 12 games. Gives the Giants the lead in this game. Two-run single, it's 4-3. And then Marquise Grissom follows that with a two-run double. A six-run seventh for the Giants. All started by the Bonds walk. 6-5 final. Tigers and Mariners from Seattle. Each row on the Mariners trying to get some run production going. They've had a power outage at Safeco this season. They've hit just 27 home runs this season. That's the second fewest in the majors, and that's everywhere. Bottom 
third. 2 nothing. Detroit, each row at third. Nobody out. Randy Wynn with a fly ball, but Bobby Higginson says, don't you dare. He comes up throwing, so Ichiro has to stay at third. Mariners fail to bring in the run. Next batter, Brett Boone. And there's two away. Next up, Edgar Martinez down looking. Nate Robertson, seven innings, a shutout ball, gave up just six singles. Bottom nine, five nothing. Tigers base is loaded for Edgar, and Ugi are being against him. And the power outage continues. Tigers win at five zip. M's have dropped ten of their starts looking to become the first eight game winner in Major League Baseball this season. Uh, that's not the what he was looking for there. Jay Gibbons home run to center solo job is six. Orioles up a field goal. Top six Orioles up three one Luis Matos chopper up the middle Alfredo Amezaga. Oh with the crazy little thing called glove. Bottom seven Shane Halter batting and he's going soft line and Miguel Tejada. Radar glove right there. Back to back lovely plays. Tejada gets two looks though. You see the range and one of the reasons they brought him to Camden. Bottom eight. Orioles up 3 2. Runners on second and third for Jose Guillen. There's a two RBI single to right center. So the Angels take the 4 3 lead. Top nine, 5 3. Rafael Palmero pinch hitting to the window, to the wall. But not over the wall. Sean Figgins with the grab. Angels win 5 3. White Sox and Twins from Minnesota. Carlos Silva, 5 0, 3.1 ERA, 3 ERA against the rest of the AL. 0 1, 18.0 ERA versus the White Sox this season. Top second, no score. Runners on second and third. Sandy Alomar Jr. off Silva. Ball goes off the glove of Justin Morneau. Two run score, and it's 2 0 White Sox. And Things are going awry for Silva again. Magler Ordonia is now at bat with the bases loaded. Breaks his bat. Twins try the 6-4-3 DP, but Jose Offerman throws it away. Two more runs score. 4 nothing White Sox. Bottom second, same score. Two out Mark Burley facing Morneau, and he gets him looking. Burley, seven innings of work, eight Ks, two earned runs. Top four runner on first, Timo Perez facing Silva. And guess what? Two-run shot for Perez. Silva, four innings of work, 10 hits, four earned runs, 6 nothing Sox. Top seven, runner on first, Jose Valentin facing Joe Roa. Valentin, a two-run shot, his sixth of the season. White Sox, easy, 8-2 in this one. Kansas City at Oakland. Mark Mulder looking for his third straight complete game. He's got a 2-0 lead. We're in the top of the second. He's 7-0 with a 198 ERA career against the Royals. Joe Randa, great ball game to watch. Next batter, Ken Harvey. Check at the door. Inning over. Top five, Kelly Stinnett. Deep to right field. Jermaine Dye. Basket catch. Mulder's got a no-hitter through five. Bottom five, six, nothing. Bobby Crosby, the rookie. Nothing rookie about that. Home run to left field. Second home run of the game. The A's up a touchdown. Still a no-hitter going top seven. Mike Sweeney leading off the inning, and uh, there goes the no-no. Singles to left. But Mulder, nothing to complain about. 11 complete games since the start of last season, so the most in the major leagues, and he gets another one. Third complete game in a row. The Athletics put a touchdown on the board, and behind Mulder's pitching, they get the 7-0 win. This Friday, take a little walk with me, Arlington, and tell me, who do you love? A Rod's first at bat. Boo that. There's drama. <laughs> a laser to left. Two run shot is 10. And then the man A Rod was traded for in large part is up in the bottom of the first. It's Alfonso Soriano facing Kevin Brown for the first time in his career. And he gets the base knock. He went two for five. Nobody would score in the bottom of the first for Texas, though. Top third, A Rod, second at bat against Benoit. And, oh, a little brush back, maybe. Two pitches later, A Rod, chopper to Soriano, and that's your casual 4 3 put out. Top four, Enrique Wilson with the runner on third. Back, crack, track. Jack. Yankees up 4 1, first of the year. For Wilson, Lance Nix at the plate, runner on second, 4-3 Yankees, fourth inning, and he's taking Brown's pitch. 
over the wall and through the woods. His seventh, and the Rangers take a one-run lead. Top seven, Dake Eric Jeter against Frank Francisco, who I heard was just up from Frisco. A-Rod, he went two for five, and Giambi goes down swinging. By the way, he sprained an ankle later in this game. He may be going on the DL. Francisco strikes out the side, bottom seven. David DeLucci. Delicious to right field, two-run homer, his sixth. Rangers up seven, four, DeLucci, four for four, four RBIs. Hideki Matsui, top nine. Francisco Cordero says you can sit on a 99-mile-per-hour fastball. And then with A-Rod watching, Tony Clark. Swing and sway like Sammy K. And the Rangers win the ball game. 9-7 is your final. By the way, A-Rod's last four runs, uh, four home runs that come against his former teams in his first two games against his former teams have turned out to be very similar. Both games occurred on a Friday. Both were in Arlington. A-Rod scored runs, uh, two runs in both games, and his team lost both times, each time by a 9-7 score. What's well, weird? To Cincinnati for the Astros and Reds. Houston sitting on top of the Central Division right now. They're 12-5 on the road. Best in the majors. Bottom first, two on, two nothing Astros. Andy Pettit to junior. Over to third, but Mike Lamb throws the ball to no one in particular. Run scores. Brings the Reds within one at two to one. Next batter, Austin Kearns. Pettit walks him. That loads the bases. Later, bases loaded still. Pettit walks D'Angelo Jimenez. Barry Larkin scores. Pettit five innings of work, two runs, four walks, and nine Ks. Top six. Still tied at two. Todd Van Poppel to Jeff Bagwell. Bagwell dialing long distance. Van Poppel paid for the call. Sixth of the season for Bags. The Astros up 3-2. Bottom six now. Dan Maselli into pitch. Reds down 4-2. Ryan Friel doesn't get much of this one, but just enough for an infield single. Run scores, Reds within one. Now tied at four, Junior on deck. Maselli intentionally walked Sean Casey, who's been hot, to get to Griffey. A few years ago, that would have never happened. Here's why, though. Junior hitless in his last 13 at-bats. But Junior at the plate now. Why, you want to try to play me. That'll be good for a double. Reds take the 5-4 lead. They win it 7-4. They've won six of their last seven. San Diego and Philadelphia Phillies have been the best team in baseball over the past two weeks or so. Chase Utley's been pretty good in his last three games, batting 400. Homer Thursday against the Dodgers, apparently he's suffering from bat scratch fever. Utley off Adam Eaton in the second. Eaton winless in his last six starts and in a 1-0 hole. Top three, man on for Brian Giles, just two for nine. Career against Kevin Millwood, no, he's now three for 10. His eighth homer, two run shot, and it's 2-1 Padres. Top five, Millwood unbeaten in his last six starts. He goes barehanded on Eaton. Millwood also tied a season high with seven Ks. Utley is the story, though. He's playing because Placido Polanco is injured. But the latter's due to come off the disabled list Sunday. 4-2 uh, after Utley's double. Uh, Larry Boa with the decision on what to do with this young man. The bottom eight were tied. Anyhow, uh, sending Utley back down is going to be tough. He, he doesn't back down here. Third RBI of, the, RBI of the night proves to be the game winner. 13 RBIs in his last 10 games. And Utley and the Phillies win this game. Bottom first, no score. Michael Barrett off Chris Carpenter. It's not coming back. First of two home runs on the day for Barrett, one nothing Cubbies. Carpenter, eight hits, three runs, and six innings of work. Top second, Mike Matheny down the line. That'll be enough to get Reggie Sanders home from second. It's two to one cards. Matheny in with a double. Top five, it's four two cards. Albert Pujols adding to that. His 11th, second in as many days, and the Cardinals up a four spot, 6 2. Next batter, Jim Edmonds, and he says, You know what? I think I'll have the same thing. Solo shot for Edmonds, so he and Pujols go back to back. Edmonds 10th at 7 2 cards, but here comes Moises. Third straight game with a home run, all of them in the seventh or later. His 12th of the year comes down just 7 6. Bottom nine, here's a Lou again, facing Jason Isringhausen. Sit down. And the Cardinals going to win it 7-6. Six road wins, the fewest in the National League. The Mets batting a buck 28 with the bases loaded. Second worst in the major. Bases loaded, bottom one. 0-2 count Mike Cameron. Sports Center strikes him. Oh, that's close. Call the ball. Rookie Jason Young. Wow, he, he's not digging that. And then he goes wild pitch. Danny Garcia scores from third. The Mets are up 2-0. Young not happy. Uh, he'll be uh, equally as unhappy with that pitch. Nine doubles in this game for the Mets, and this Mike Piazza home run. He's 
his ninth. He's celebrating the fact that the Mets have called up Tyler Yates from AAA Norfolk. Got to get the Hawaiian reference in there. Two on for Matt Ginner. 2-2 count later in the same inning. Close pitch called Paul by the home plate umpire Paul Nart. Well, Young not happy in the next pitch. I think you know where we're going. Ginter singles up the middle. Jason Phillips scores his first big league RBI for the opposing pitcher. 5-3 Mets. Bottom 9-9-7. Nine, nine, Todd Helton grounds out to Braden Looper. And the Mets win. 9-7 is your final.